How's it going everyone? Travis 95 HD here. Welcome to episode number three of our time messy 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 messy. Um very uh <laughs> very um good trades on the screen as you can see. I picked up another cleverly and Pablo Hernandez. I've seemed to made a very good uh bit of profit on these players, and as long as I'm making profit on them, I'm gonna stick to trading with those certain players. And uh, I picked up a Vidit right here for 101,000 coins. She will sell them on for 113,000, so that is almost like a 5 or 6k profit. And because when you're spending that amount of coins, it's going to be very hard to uh, get all around the EA tax and try to make profit off of that. Uh, went back into the silvers a little bit, still trying to pick up uh, as many deals and maximize our uh, amount of coins spent to get as many coins back as we can. And uh, I picked up a Sturge. I overpaid a little bit for him. I uh, I was trying to trade with all these Sturges because this is when he was fresh out of uh, PAX and he was brand new into his new transfer club, which is Liverpool. He's been there for a while now. This, uh, um, this footage isn't that old, but when EA transfers new players, it's always uh, a good idea to go trade with transferred players as there always is room to make, room to make coins because most of the time, you can, uh, the player's price starts out really, really high, and if you're lucky, you can pick them up for cheap, because, um, some people don't know they're transferred. I did that with the Debuchis earlier, and I tried to do it with the Sturges, but it didn't work out as well as I thought. And, uh, on the screens, on the screen, we have, uh, some more players being traded. I went and picked out two Silver Steels. Um, this Sterling really isn't that good of a deal, probably only at 1,000, 2,000 coins, overpaid a little bit on him, but, um... Another Adriano, very, very good player to trade with for me as it has turned out to be. And then a Henderson in a 4 one 2 one 2 And I was looking for around the market and I was trying to figure out what his price would be. And I searched max buy now 30,000 coins in a 4 one 2 one 2 And I couldn't find anything. So then I went back and searched for a buy now of 30k at all. And there was only one in a 4 triple 2 worth 24,000 coins. Now this Henderson, I was like, I could sell really quick for 22 and a half, And that's what I decided to do. I could have... Maybe got more profit out of him, waited a little bit, held on to him, and probably could have earned more coins. But I'd like to have liquid coins at this stage in the game. I want that cash flow, or that coin flow, as uh, it might be referred to, to constantly be going in and out. I want players to be selling, and I want coins to be earning. So, the only way to do that is um, sell them as quick as you can, but try to make as much profit as you can as well. And um, that Pedro was a good deal. That's when he had his second in form, his right wing version, and that was a right forward card. So I was lucky enough to be able to uh, pick up a right forward Pedro and sell him on very, very quickly. Um, when the it was, I think I picked him up on like a Friday is what I was doing it. Not this Friday, obviously, but um, uh, about a week ago when I picked him up. So uh, when you can pick up in form players right on the release date or the release week, they're definitely worth the most that they're ever going to be worth. Picked up a Javi and a Joe Hart. She was able to make uh, like 5 to 6k on both of them. So very, very, very good deals as we're moving forward. And we come back, everyone has indeed sold. The Javi was a center forward. But we pick up a Lucas. The second informed Lucas who is no longer at Sao Paulo. He has that PS Money G. Um, and I picked up his in second informed for 133,000 coins on the left wing. Should be able to sell him for 149,000. So, uh... With EA tax, that's probably about a seven to eight thousand coin profit. Another um, just uh, good deals. I mean, another Chavi, not Chavi, another Tevez in the center mid position. Not as good of a deal. Probably only two thousand coins profit on him. A Jerome, more silvers. I'm 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 enjoying trading with these silvers. I mean, they've been good good players to trade with and good profit to be made. Some gardeners. He's been a staple in this series with through my hundred K and my Road to Messi series. These silvers have always been good to deal with, but um, we actually I think we make about like uh, sixty to seventy thousand coin profit in this episode, so that's really not bad at all. I mean, if if you're uh you're spending the coins and you're getting them back as quickly as possible, it's very very good trading. But this episode's coming to an end. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. And that's it for me, Travis ninety five HD. And as always, I will see you next time. Get some nervous.